ready access to quality comprehensive emergency obstetric and neonatal care is essential to reducing the high rates of maternal and newborn morbidity and mortality in India. The Sukshema project funded by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation through its situational assessment of the eight high priority districts found that significant quality gaps existed at the first referral level where women and newborn who required emergency services were referred. In Northern Karnataka, higher level facilities such as community health centers, sub-district and district hospitals account for about 40% of institutional deliveries. Only 32% of higher level facilities offer caesarean section. 50% of them conduct assisted deliveries. To that end, the Sukshema project set about designing a comprehensive intervention to improve quality of essential and emergency maternal and newborn care in the first referral units or FRUs in eight high priority districts of Northern Karnataka. Intervention Design Based on our past experience working with both the PHC and FRUs and as well as a series of consultations, the intervention design was developed which consisted of four core components. Facility-based refresher, Quality Improvement Committee, the QIC, Emergency Obstetric and Newborn Drills, and Mentoring Visits. Facility-based refresher, Refreshers were organized for two days for all providers in the FRUs dealing with essential and emergency obstetric and newborn care to refresh their basic knowledge and skills before initiating mentoring visits. Quality Improvement Committee QICs were set up within the facilities for regularly overseeing the progress in quality improvement efforts. The QIC was chaired by Chief Medical Officer or District Surgeon and members were drawn from all cadres of staff. The QIC members were oriented on how to use the self-assessment checklist for identifying gaps and develop action plans for resolving them. The QIC members met every month to review the implementation of action plan. Emergency Obstetric and Newborn Drills Drills were organized in each round of mentoring visits to engage the whole team in emergency preparedness. The entire FRU team was directed through a mock drill in handling a particular complication which was videotaped. Later, the team watched the video to understand where they did well and where they needed to improve. The discussions were facilitated by the specialists. The drills mainly addressed teamwork, system readiness and clinical skills and practices. Drill demonstration na mige kotti ro drill da direct time na yaavritti case na handle madhu bodo matu munda yaavritti na mige case bage yaavritti study madhu beko adur bage bahala implement na kotti dare andre na mali bahala stu kundu korte gorle idhu madlo ay alla kundu korte gorle na auru parishili se bahala stu tarabeti na na mige kotti dare mentoring visits regular visits were undertaken by a team of specialists and nurse mentors facilitated by the district program specialists. The nurse mentor spent about 8 to 10 days in each round helping the QIC teams to address system gaps. They provided on-the-job coaching to the staff nurses using case studies and skill demonstrations, supported them in the labor rooms and wards. An important tool that the mentors used to provide coaching were revised case sheets which acted as job aids to ensure early diagnosis and management of complications. The obstetricians and newborn specialists visited for a day or two in each round. They facilitated emergency drills and provided mentoring to site specialists. Mentors used a list of topics for each round of mentoring. The tools and process were aligned with the MNH guidelines. Quality improvement salwagi, e mentoring our guidance uh, aladene. Now once in a month or uh, for every fourth of every month, we are conducting our meeting with our staff. Uh, conducting delivery, uh, all the equipments, sterilization models, 
ಅದು ನಮ್ಮ ಒ ಟಿ ಎ ಸ್ಟಾಫಿಗೆ ಅಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಅವರು ದೇ ಔಟ್ ಟು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟರೈಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೂಪರ್ವಿಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ಗೈನಕಾಲಜಿಸ್ಟ್ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅವರು ನಮಗೆ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಡೆಲಿವರಿ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ನ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಅದಲ್ಲದೇ ತಾಯಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಲ್ಕಿದೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದ್ರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ಒಂದು ಮಗುವಿನ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ನ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾವೀಗ ಈ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ನ ನಾವು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಯಾವುದೇ ರೀತಿ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಕೇ ಕೇಸ್ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದರೆ ಆ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ನ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಪೇಷಂಟಿಗೆ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಾವು ಐಯರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಿಗೆ ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಇದರಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸೇವ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಇದು ಅದು ಅಲ್ಲದಲ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಈ ಕೇಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ನ ನಾವು ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಮತ್ತು ಕಾನ್ಫಿಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಹೆಚ್ಚಾಗಿದೆ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ The management support is provided by the district program specialists and technical managers of the project at the state level. The district staff play an active role in introducing the mentors to the facilities, facilitating QIC meetings and in following up with the facility leadership in resolving the issues. The technical managers and the deputy director quality improvement supported the field teams during preparations and planning for the visits they also reviewed the implementation through field visits and review meetings the director quality improvement provides the required technical stewardship the clinical support through training and field support was provided by the experts from st john's hospital university of manitoba and intra health international While there are over 45 functional FRUs in the region, the project focused its efforts on 16 FRUs, two per district, given limited time and resources to implement the intervention. These FRUs performed 57% of all deliveries and 81% of cesarean sections that occur in the FRUs of the region. Results The intervention adopted a robust monitoring and evaluation design. Several tools such as facility audits, case sheet audits, direct observation and exit interviews to understand the progress made. After 1 year of intervention use of case sheets rose from 19% to 42%, use of complication case sheet from 10% to 30%. During labor monitoring fourth hourly bp recording increased from 42% to 64% active management third stage of labor went up from 57% to 80% in addition the detail process is being documented for any possible replication challenges the intervention faced system level issues such as staff vacancies poor infection control practices which were slow to change diversion of cases to the private hospitals realizing that these challenges have to be dealt with extreme sensitivity another innovation was designed by the community intervention team to complement the ongoing efforts of the facility teams the strategy was to enhance accountability and ownership of the broader public through activating and strengthening the block level community structures called arogya raksha samitis ars while the nhm policy and guidelines for ars are already in place there were challenges related to implementation to begin with low hanging fruits that is less complex issues were addressed first before attempting more complex issues likewise cleanliness drives arranging for clean drinking water mobilizing positive public opinion the good work in the facilities etc were organized in the process the confidence of the facility leadership was gained as a first step toward bringing the facility and community leaders together eventually the ars was formed and capacitated to look into larger systemic level issues that can impact quality of care and service delivery ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ರಕ್ಷಾ ಸಮಿತಿದವ್ರಿ ಆ ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗೆ ಬಂದು ಅತ್ತ ಇತ್ತ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅಡ್ಡಾಡಿರ್ತೀವಿ ರೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಕೂಡ್ಲಾಕ ಒಂದ್ ಬೆಂಚಸ್ ಅನ್ರಿ ಅಥವಾ ಏನಾದ್ರು ಒಂದ್ ಹಾಸಿಗೆ ತರ ಲಾನ್ ಅಂತ ತರ ಮಾಡಿ ಕೂಡ್ಲಾಕ ನಾವು ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಅದ್ರ ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ದ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಕಂಪೋನೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್
supported by a community manager under the leadership of director community interventions in just one year the fru intervention has shown promising gains in quality improvement and trends showed sustained efforts could address currently unsolved gaps shortage of specialists and nurses in fru's and the need for greater system level accountability must be addressed to truly bring about substantial and sustainable access to comprehensive emergency obstetric and newborn care only then we can together save the lives of india's mothers and newborns